The minute a lion becomes aware of you and you become aware of it, you are in a language dialogue and it is a language of energy and presence. Now, there's usually one of two things that will happen. Either the lion will get up, and this is 99% of the encounters. The lion's natural instinct is to get away from you. Remember, people hunted lions for hundreds of years on the plains. And actually, one of the primary ways that hunter-gatherers got food, and a lot of people don't know this, is they tracked lions and then they would rob them of their kills. And so lions have a long history of being you know, chased by humans. So normally it'll go away from you. However, that doesn't always happen. Particularly if, if a lioness has cubs or if, they, or if they have meat, they can be aggressive. Now, normally what will happen is the first thing that you will notice is the animal's body will tighten. They'll drop their head and the tail starts to flick intensely and they start to warning growl at you. And it sounds like the growl is so intense, it sounds like someone started a dirt bike in the bush up ahead of you. And then if it's a lioness and she's got cubs, she'll stand up. And still with her head low and her ears back and the tail lashing, she slowly starts to walk towards you. And she fixes you with a gaze of utter intensity. And the minute she has you in that gaze, your only option is you have to stand your ground and you have to communicate an intense presence back to her. So when that happens to me, if I feel myself starting to come into an encounter where we're going to have a, a more aggressive energetic conversation with each other. And may I just interject for one second to say, when you don't have clients, true or false, you guys will often go out with just walking sticks. Yeah, no, no rifles without clients. Okay, please continue. What we most believe in is being in this dialogue. And so if that happens, the first thing that you do is you breathe out, a long out breath. Because <sighs> everything in your system is starting to jack up because the feeling of it is like I'm, I'm in, you can feel your whole system flush with, with uh, adrenaline. So you breathe out, you anchor yourself, and then you understand that that lion is trying to communicate with you. you she walks towards you intensely, intensely, and then she'll growl, and with that she charges. And then she runs at you at full speed, and it is in, it's so fast, uh, snarling, you know, full gums revealed, teeth revealed, and she comes in, and then you stand your ground and you look her directly in the eyes. And mostly what will happen is she'll stop some distance from you. As she stops, you hold her in your energy and you almost aggressive back to her. And you're showing that like, I'm dangerous too. And then the minute you see her energy drop a little bit, because all that she's doing is she's trying to anchor you so that the cubs can run away. The minute you see her energy drop a little bit, you just start dropping away and you give her, still facing her, you step back, you give her space. And very quickly you start communicating to her that we, we know we've come too close, but we're going to give you space now. But you can only do that once she has stopped coming at you. And you'll, if you watch her very intensely, and Renias is, uh, is really the master of this, as you watch her closely, a slight drop in energy and he'll move backwards a little bit. And then you, you know, get out of the situation and you just find yourself giggling stupidly and doing all the weird things that happen after high tense situations. <laughs> so you said most of the time they stop some distance from you. So <laughs> what, what's, what's the alternate scenario? <laughs> if you're in the alternate scenario, you, you've got something very, very wrong. Yeah. And, and the reason that you get into the alternate scenario is that you get it wrong in the moment. You see, as that charge starts happening, you're in the dialogue and you're and your presence is absolutely critical and your ability to project an energetic presence and meet her and then for, to quickly help her understand that you're not afraid of her, you're dangerous, but you're also going to give way. And, and when people get killed, it's because they get that wrong. They fall over, their nerve breaks and they want to run or they get scared and they start running immediately. That's when dangerous things happen.